So, to, so today's video is going to be how to be a bookworm. Today I'm going to be giving tips on how to read more because last year I don't know exactly how much I read but all I do know is I've read a lot. Probably wondering how do you read so many books? There will be parts of the video I'm sorry if I sound a bit blocked a fever season so you're just gonna have to bear with the first part is going to be how to get motivated to read more to how to read consistently how to access books how to retain what you've read and make the most of it how to access classics make them more easier and less overwhelming but firstly we are going to talk about how to get motivated to read have a list of books that you're excited to read bit of a but make sure it's books you really enjoy reading that you have a list that you want to read and what you enjoy reading go on facebook book forums because people talk about books you can recommend books to people that you've read and you can get recommendations from other people I know we can't do this, but one of my favourite things to do is go to bookshops and libraries. Waterstones is one of my favourite places to go. Personally, I read a lot, and I have lots of lots of books I want to read. Next, I'm going to talk about is how to read more consistently. Choose a time of day when you're going to read. I read in the evening or first thing when I wake up in the morning. Said it is a habit, meaning you will not fail to do it. I bring a book with me on the train or a long car journey. We have time where we're doing nothing, so instead of doing this and picking up your phone, read a book instead. I find multiple books going means you don't get bored. I'm currently reading three, I'd recommend three. And the three I'm reading is Born to Run by Michael Mapurgo, which is longer, but still quite easy. Uh, Home for Molly by Holly Webb, which is just a quick, easy read. And Julie Andrews, a memoir of her early years. Also, if you don't fancy reading one book, you can read another. If you're in a reading slump, which we all get, and we are trying to motivate ourselves to read but we just can't seem to do it, I would recommend reading a really easy book that you really enjoy. Oh, and it will help you finish a book and also get you back on track when you finish that book. Next, we're going to look at accessing books. You can have books on Kindle if you like. You can order books off Amazon. I know a lot of these will not be the cheapest suggestions. You can have a look at book session sections in stationery shops like WH Smith's. You could go to the library, even go to Waterstones because they do lovely books. You can use Google Books but you can't always have the whole text so I don't recommend this much. You could also go on places like Amazon. You can get them second hand on Amazon and eBay. You can go to charity shops. You can look in places where you can pick up books for free. In normal times we can go to libraries. I would suggest make the most of your libraries. Next is how to retain what you've read and make the most of what you've just read. Write a book review even if you don't use it. It can be fun to write a review on a book you've read. You can also have a notebook where you write down stuff about the book. You can even use Notion if you so wish to do so. You can even research more about the book further. Even think about what was my favourite quote from this book. After you finish reading it, take some time to think about the book. Process it. After you've taken some time to think about the book, you will have some thoughts about the book. So you could write those down. Recommend books to people. Next, we're going to talk about accessing classics. Watch the film and then read the book to a classic. Start with easy classics, then move on to harder classics. 
You could start with The Secret Garden, A Christmas Carol, Oliver Twist, Pride and Prejudice, anything quite simple. Get somewhere comfy, somewhere cosy and just snuggle up with a book and you will be fine. So I hope this has been somewhat helpful, I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and I will see you in another video. Bye.